So we've gotten to the point where, you know, performance, mo doing mobility drills ain't going to help your performance. Uh, strength, or, well, strength and performance kind of the same thing. Uh, range of motion, like you get the same benefits by doing the exercise. Uh, yeah. Injury risk, like nada. What about like, so, so what do you think is important when it comes to like improving mobility? Like what are things that people can do if yeah. they're having trouble hitting depth on their squat? Like what are, uh, one of the things I'll just kind of, maybe you can use this as a jumping off point. One of the things that I've seen in, in your videos that you often go to is foot positioning when you're doing your squat. So right. what would you say are like the number, if, if someone does not have a coach or if they're looking to self-diagnose, what would you say are like the things that people should look out for or try to address to improve their mobility, ability to hit depth on the squat or whatever the case may be? Right, right. Yeah, definitely. First thing is going to be stance. Most people are likely to take a stance that's either too wide or too narrow, but most people are going to be fine with a stance that's shoulder width apart at the heels. Most people are not going to need a stance that's more than an inch wider or an inch narrower. And it's not like there's not people that do do it and get away with or not get away with it, but do do it and, and, and do it efficiently. Um, but yeah, in general, that's that's just where most people are going to need to be. Um, and most people tend to point their toes straight out too, which can be an issue. Uh, that's why we want the toes pointed out about 30 to 40 degrees, because when you do that, uh, you're able to shove your knees out a bit better. Shoving your knees out, I'd say that's number two to stance. If, if you're not shoving your knees out, it's probably, or if you're not hitting depth, it's probably because you're not shoving your knees out hard enough. Uh, when you do shove your knees out, you get your femurs out of the way of your hips so that they don't jam up when you go down to hit depth. Um, shorter, or not shorter, smaller, more flexible people are going to be able to have a more narrower stance with their toes pointed straight ahead uh, because they're just, they're going to be flexible enough to get down to depth with that position. Bigger, taller people, for example, uh, a person with, you know, narrower shoulders and wider hips might need a stance that's a bit wider than shoulder width. So there, there is going to be some variation, um, but stance is the first thing, knee position, making sure the knees are tracking in line with the toes. Uh, and the third thing is going to be back angle. This is very common, especially in low bar squats. People are hesitant to lean over as much as they need to be. When you're too upright, your knees go too far forward and that prevents you from hitting depth. So no, but the real problem is they just got to increase their calf mobility. Or something. Yeah, exactly. Like that's, that, that's what I thought my issue was too, was my knees were going way forward in the squat. My heels were coming off the ground. And I was like, oh, it's my ankle mobility. It's my calf mobility. No, it's because I wasn't sitting my butt back enough. I wasn't. No, but dude, if you enough. do six months of intense mobility, you will be able to increase your ankle dorsiflexion by two degrees. See, and I can say, <laughs> I can say with complete confidence, I tried and it didn't work. I can say it. Uh, so yeah, stance, knee position back angle there there are other little things like eye gaze uh that might help um you know whether you're consciously thinking about squeezing your chest out and keeping thoracic extension or not but in general those are going to be the the three big ones if somebody's having trouble hitting depth um and you in, unless you're extremely detrained you should be able to squat to depth on the very first day you walk in the gym if you are not coming off an injury or not extremely detrained and if you can organize your technique correctly like i said 50, 60, 70 year olds that come in the gym, they can squat to depth immediately. Right. 